Hello everyone. I hope you are good and doing well. This is Rohit from Salesforce and today I'm going to show you Apex sharing. So basically Apex sharing use for, you know, some user contacts or system contacts, right? So we have three types of sharing in Apex. One of the with sharing, second one without sharing and finally inherited sharing. I will show you these three sharing with practical parts and practical examples one by one and please stay tuned and if you are new in this channel so please subscribe the channel for more updates and please turn on the bell icon for more notification so you never miss any kind of update from my side first is let me show you this one with sharing so with sharing basically used for user context right so in apex by default apex code run under the system context mode with sharing that is called user mode here right user context mode or we can say that user context mode right without sharing without sharing basically used for system context so you don't forget it because it's a very most important if you are working as a sales for developer so system inherited sharing basically used for you know like extra features or extra it is provide extra security comparison to with sharing because it's a newly and it was come from winter 19 release and it's a very powerful right so this is very useful so we can use this in inherited sharing with the help of with the sharing or without sharing so just let me add it here and just use this one here so now you can easily understand what is with sharing without sharing and inherited sharing so this is overall about the apex sharing so now it's time to learn something you know practical part with example how it is work so you can learn from here let me open my vs code so now you can see this is my vs code and i already created some classes one is inherited sharing with sharing and without sharing and how to check this classes is working perfectly you can use any kind of you know lightning component right now i'm using test class we can check out this testing inside our test class if you want to make it any apex class as an inherited sharing so always use this keyword that is called inherited sharing right public inherited sharing class and then class name so in this class simply i'm just written size of this account records right so it's a simple soql query now you can see here right and it's always written this size of accounts records so now this is class is ready this class is ready now come to the with sharing so under the with sharing i just make it one method same like this one like get accounts and same same code so you can use inside with sharing so if you want to make it any class with sharing so always use this keyword right with sharing and after that i want to call this inherited sharing inside my with sharing class so how to call that very simple here you can see this is a public class right and here you can see this is a static method so this static method we can call with the help of class name so under this class here you can see in the written statement inherited sharing dot get accounts so i'm just calling this inherited sharing class inside my with sharing class why because you cannot call any inherited sharing class directly that's why you can use another class this one right and this is the one method called inherited sharing same thing you can do with the help of without sharing if you want to make it any apex class as without sharing so always use this keyword without sharing and write your code here and same thing i am doing here like inherited sharing class i'm just calling this method get accounts and once you've done this code right so now it's time to learn how to call these three classes inside my test class so here if you want to make it any class or any apex class as a test class so always use this notation that is called at the rate is test if you want to make it any 
method as a test method so always notate this one is test and all, all test methods should be void type or is, should be static because it's never written any kind of value right and i'm using this see all data so basically if you are working with the salesforce data so always use this you know keyword inside this at the Reddit test notation see all data is equal to true so you can deal with the salesforce data with the help of this notation so right now in my org i'm a system administrator and this is another user so i'm checking this user it's having the account record accessibility or not right so just i'm just querying here this sql query and just i'm returning here only one user i'm checking system dot run as and once you write this one system dot run as and you have to pass the user right i'm just debugging this output inside my system dot debug so th this is the first here you can see that without sharing and uh, without sharing dot get account so this class contain this get account i already shown you this without sharing this class having this get account that's why i'm calling inside system dot debug now it's time to learn or it's time to find out the output of this you know like without without sharing class result so how to do that let me show you so you can see lots of things right so first of all let me open my you know apex replay debugger if you don't know about it so please you have to must watch my video about this apex replay debugger this this is very most important if you are working as a salesforce developer so just you have to do one thing just first of all you have to turn on apex replay debugger so how to turn on apex replay debugger just control shift v if you are using window and choose this command that is called turn on apex debugger log for replay debugger so just click on this one and it's taking some time to enabling this apex replay debugger and once you see some kind of you know like uh, information in this status bar so always use this apex replay debugger here so now just it's so finally you can see recorded details logs until that particular time and it successfully ran turn on apex replay debugger just close it and now it's time to add some checkpoint or breakpoint inside your code so how to add the checkpoints here so once you have like some debugging lines number of line of code so always click on this one and open this command control shift p and just toggle sfdx colon toggle checkpoint just click it and immediately you can see the red mark here that is called checkpoint same thing you can apply for rest of the code if you want but for now i'm using only one line for for now so later on we will see one by one here so just you have to click on this debug test and now immediately you can see running debug test and update the checkpoints in the org is taking some time toggle the checkpoints and once you write this debug test here right immediately you can see this kind of information here right so now like uh, this variable and checkpoints so one uh, we already added one breakpoint that's why you can see here this uh, highlighted line right means our line of code here right now so how to check this kind of you know values like uh, uh, this variable contain this particular id or not so in the left panel you can see like u u means variable local variable once you click or expand it id equal to this is the user id so you can debug each and every line single of line or multiple of line based on your requirement and in the top you can see lots of buttons right first is like continue step over and here you step into and step out and this is a reload restart and this is a stop right for now i'm checking this one and just you have to click on this debug console and click on this uh, uh, this option that is called step over just click on this one immediately you can see the output here in the debug console that is called without sharing 393 we have this kind of records in my org uh, under the account object that's why you can see the total number of records without sharing right so let me add some breakpoints here in the second line that is called with sharing and let's see the output here so let me add the checkpoint here immediately you can see this one 
and clear the console here let me execute this debug test again and let's see the output of without sharing and with sharing okay so now here it will take some time debug test is successfully ran and you will be see some outputs inside our variable window because still you will be see the apex launcher here debugger launcher right so here you will be see the output like id this one and everything you can see the line by line so this line line number seven we have our debugger here you can see and it's uh, let me click on this debug console you cannot see any kind of you know like output right now because it's our debugger right now on this line so once you click on this uh, you know like step over so immediately you can see the uh, total records without sharing because it's a system context and once you click on the next line immediately you can see like with sharing zero record why because this user cannot have any access to see all the records inside this account object that's why you can see like zero this is the zero output or zero records you already seen this one without sharing and with sharing let's see and let's check out this inheriting sharing so we already discussed about inherited sharing that's why you can call this you know line of code with the help of you know like without sharing and calling this inheriting sharing and with sharing with calling this inheriting sharing so let me uncomment this one and let me execute this line of code again and again right so just let me toggle you know toggle the checkpoints and same thing here toggle the checkpoint you can see the four breakpoints here right so just let me execute again and let's see the output so just click on this debug test and now you will be see the line by line outputs with the sharing without sharing with without inherited sharing or with inherited sharing it will take some time to execute this one so let me clear it debug test successfully ran and now let's see the checkpoints and line by line execution of this code so once you execute just click on this one debug console clear it and now let's see the first output of this line number seven like without sharing let's see how many records we have so just click on this step over immediately you can see like 393 because this without sharing means system contacts you know already right so that's why you can see the total number of records here right just click on uh, this step over again and now immediately you can see like with sharing with zero record because this user doesn't have any kind of you know accessibility of the records in the account object that's why you couldn't see any kind of you know records here right so now let me click again this step over and now it's time to check this inheriting sharing without sharing and just click on this step over immediately you can see without inherited sharing and it's a total number of records because it's a without inherited sharing right so just click on this again step over and now this time you will be see the output here like zero like with sharing inherited sharing right with inheriting sharing so that uh, here you can see like zero because it's a sharing under the inherited right so this is how to learn or how to work on the without sharing with sharing and inherited sharing in apex so guys i hope you learned something new in this video and if you feel like this is very most informative for us so please like share comments and subscribe the channel and also please turn on the bell icon so you never miss any kind of update from my side till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching